Hello everybody, my name is KevGuy378 and welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings. It's lunchtime right now and we're going to see where we're going to be headed towards. Today, I didn't eat my lunchbox early. As I basked in this tiny sense of achievement and got my lunchbox out, Katori had already disappeared from the classroom. As she looked out into the hallway, she was moving back and forth as if she were saying, Should I go for it? No, maybe I should go back. Are you waiting for me? <laughs> Letting out a cry not really befitting a pretty little girl, Katori fanned herself with her left hand as if to calm herself down. <laughs> Sorry, I only want to speak to you, that's all. You're going, aren't you? To the garage? Yes, <laughs> so Okay, shall we go? I push her wheelchair on the way. Here, hold this, would you? I pass my bag to her. The garage was open, but there was no one there. For some reason, it felt like Amane was always here, so it was a little surprising. The air conditioning is not turned on, so it's quite humid. What should we do? Tori subconsciously put her hand on her stomach. Shall we have our lunch in here? I made one for you too, Katori. Well, I mean leftovers from lunch. From breakfast. Katori didn't come to have any breakfast this morning, so she shouldn't have any way of knowing what food was served. Hmm? No. I'm just meddling. One, two, three. I put the three lunch boxes on the workbench. I went to the trouble of making one for money too, though. The air conditioner isn't turned on in the garage, so if I just leave it here, it'll go bad. It's a refrigerator, so I decided to put it in there. If I realize a note, if I leave a note on the desk, she'll realize and then eat it, won't she? Could you turn on the electric fan? The toy turns on the nearby electric fan. I can't find the remote controller. It's probably buried somewhere. We open up the lunch boxes in the place that gets the full force of the wind from the electric fan. This morning's breakfast was curry. You don't like it? You can complain after you've eaten it. Tori has a meek look on her face as she moves the cold curry towards her mouth. It would be good if we had a microwave though. For a little while, the two of us quietly eat our curry. Today, there is no sheet covering the glider. I gazed at the simple, sleek shape of its body and thought it was beautiful. I imagined the aircraft cutting through the air as it flew. When riding a bicycle, your greatest enemy is the wind. Huh? Dory's face seemed to say, what is this guy talking about all of a sudden? But I carry on regardless. The worst thing is, when you have a headwind, while it is constantly pushing you back, you have to keep pedaling. I faced the wind coming through the electric fan, set to strong, and I remember that feeling a little. The feeling of the wind gradually draining my stamina. That's why, when we ride a bicycle, we try to find ways to reduce air resistance. Not just the shape of the bike or the helmet. During the race, we cooperate with the members of other teams and form a group while riding. I thought that when riding a bike, it would be better if the wind wouldn't blow. But this thing rides the wind to fly. Jet engine no if we hadn't actually seen it flying that day, even with the real thing right in front of us, we wouldn't be able to imagine it flying. 
Speaking of which, Katori, how do you know about gliders? Didn't really know that much about them. That was the first time she had seen a real one. Somehow, it seems like it's hard for her to answer, so I decided not to go any further. Speaking of books, there's a bookshelf here, lined with many books. Looking closely, they're all related to gliders, or aircraft. I pick one up and take a look inside. It's all in English. I can't read it. It's not like my grades in English are bad, but with the level of English I have from studying at school, reading academic papers is really tough. Seems like Katori is the same. There was a book that had many photos of gliders, like a catalog. There are so many different types. The shape of the wings, the size, and so on. Even with gliders, there are so many different varieties. What's happening in this picture? It looked so natural that I didn't really notice, but the glider was flying high enough that it could look down on the mountain. They can fly that high? Victoria and I, without realizing, both look at the glider sitting over there. With its wings removed, we couldn't really grasp the full size of it, but at a glance, it didn't seem all that different to the glider in the photo. Mane had said that it could go above the clouds. I wonder what it feels like to fly through the sky. After we finished our lunch boxes, we stayed for a little longer. We spent the time looking at books and admiring the glider. When the bell rang, it felt like the time to enjoy ourselves was over, and I felt a little sad. Just as we were about to go back to the classroom, Katori noticed a photo frame on Amani's desk. I wonder what this is. The weird thing was that there was a photo frame, but no photo inside. An empty photo frame had been placed there. In her case, she probably managed to lose just the photo inside. What's up? The moment we stepped out the sauna-like garage, the air outside felt cool. Splash, splash, splash. Phew. Ah, I'm worn out. It's easy to say, clean the bathroom, but I never thought it would be such a big job. Plus, there's no air conditioning in there, so I'm sweltering. The trouble is, if I don't do this every day during the summertime, then mold will start growing. It's not just about hygiene, it's kind of gross too. There's no way you can take a bath when there's mold growing in there. My cell phone rang. And the display it showed home. Hello? What's up? I can't say it's going smoothly. I didn't think much of it when I stepped it, but it turned out to be pretty tough. Going to school every day and doing the work of a dorm mother is wearing me out. I realized this after only a few days. This is a lot of hard work. Why? Well, if that's what you think, don't talk about it. A mother like you? She's the kind of mother who loves teasing her son. But... Did she get me to do the store mother job because she was worried about me? I'm so busy that I don't have time to dwell on things. Speaking in the hallway, the other boarders may have been able to hear me, so I went back to my room. We continue our silly parent-child conversation. 
My mother is a fiercely independent person and a hard-working career woman. Many things have been happening until recently. Well, they are still going on now and we were living separately. I'm a bit too old to be missing my mother though. It's enough for me to just speak to her from time to time. It's going fine. Agiha, Agi, Agiha is there too. Is Ageha now? I'm confused. Me too. She's like a proper girl now. Jeez, cut it out. What are you talking about? Yeah, you. Would a mother usually tell her son to go chasing after girls? Sure. I'll think about it. She called me that on purpose because she knows I don't like it, and then ended the call. My father is the one who chose to call me Aoi. But it's kind of a girl's name, so I was often teased about it, and it seems she still remembers. I put down my phone and take a look at the boarding student's roster. As for the boarder's jobs, cleaning their own room is a given. Then there's cleaning the hallways and entrance, as well as the dining hall. On the other hand, my jobs are to prepare breakfast and dinner, clean up afterwards, clean the bathroom and the garden, and other miscellaneous chores. It is actually pretty tough. Maybe I should ask for some help. Even if I can just get them to clean the bathroom. It would be a real lifesaver. Huh? Yuka? <laughs> Yuka, who is in the dining hall, the tall fourth grader and the one who'd been here the longest seems surprised as I call out to her. <sighs> Can I ask you a question? I lay out the roster that I was just looking at on the table where Yuka is sitting. Yuka, who should be used to seeing this, looks at it with curiosity. Victoria doesn't have her name on the job roster. Starting with Kanako, then Yuka, there are four names, but Victoria's name is not there. <laughs> Yuka looks towards the dining hall door as she speaks. I see, so that's why. Thank you. Then the little wings which fly in this night high skyly. I just read that wrong. Oh. How did I read that totally wrong? <laughs> the scorching sun comes shining in. Up on the roof, with nothing to block the sunlight, it feels even more like I'm being burned. Today is hot as hell. I grumble as I wipe the sweat from my brow. It's already 7 o'clock, just before the peak of summer and the sun is finally shining at full strength. Today is Saturday, so there's no school. Now is my chance to get some of the dorm mother work done. This morning, I climbed up on the roof and I'm fixing leaks. This building is in pretty bad condition. I heard that the owner who collapsed a few days ago, and who was also the caretaker here, is an elderly woman. Because it was a girls dormitory with no guys around, there were quite a few places that had been left damaged. This place is so old that I can't help wondering if originally it was aiming to be registered as a cultural heritage site. The owner, who is a widow, opened the manor house as a student dormitory before I was born. Which means that when we were calling this place the Witch's Mansion, students from Keifu Academy were already living here. Since then, the owner had been taking care of the boarding students, like they were her own children or grandchildren. However, since the redevelopment plans were brought forward, land prices in Kazeguara have been rising. The owner's sons were hoping to let go of this place, and that's one of the reasons why I was brought to take on the dorm mother's job in such a hurry. 
It might be hard to avoid getting involved in those kinds of adult matters, so I will just quietly get on with the work that I have to do. Alright, that should do it. Finishing the repairs on the roof to the roof, I climb down the ladder. Okay, next is in the next video. Everyone, thank you for watching this video. I appreciate it so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye!